Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see some of you again. So, that last video, that went well, didn't it? The majority of the comments in the last video all seem to have a common theme. Um, well, certainly after a certain point. Whether or not I know what I'm talking about, I just shouldn't be making the video and I'm only doing it for views. So this is a tactic used by lots of famous people and YouTubers in the past when they've been caught out doing something wrong where they will try and deflect attention. It's a distraction tactic. It's don't look at me and the thing I've done, look at this guy over here. He's just trying to get attention, he's trying to get views, he's trying to ride on my coattails, all that kind of stuff. It's about don't look at me, I'm innocent, look at this person. My god, you're horrible, you're only doing this for views. I'm not sure why you're pointing this out. Is there anyone that makes YouTube videos that doesn't want people to view them? I don't think there's anyone in the history of video making who hasn't been after extra views. Um, so it's obvious. Why are you even bringing that up? Um, it makes me wonder about some people sometimes. The other side of that coin is, it's your fault. You're viewing it. If you don't want me to make those videos, don't watch them. If it's so heinous that I make a video about something you don't want to see, don't watch it then. It's the same argument you guys keep using on me. Um, if I don't like Joey's content, don't watch it. If you don't like my content, don't watch it. That's absolutely fine. Um, the way you guys are going on about it, you, I'm going to end up having to dedicate an entire channel just to him. I think it was fairly clear in the last video, but maybe I should have to clarify for some people. A lot of people obviously didn't actually watch the video, they just jumped straight into commenting about how terrible a person I am for pointing out how terrible a person someone else is. Fine. Twisted logic, but we'll go with it. Um, the, the point remains is, I'm not trying to cancel the King of DIY's channel. I said specifically in the last video, don't go and unsubscribe just because of what I'm saying. Um, if you're going to be influenced by my opinion, um, then you've got more questions to ask of yourself than you have of me. I just find his behaviour in the video that I saw wrong and decided to share my opinion that I thought that was wrong. Um, I think it's the language and some of the things that he said was abhorrent, regardless of whether or not uh, the person that invited those comments or willingly participated. Um, when someone says things like that, it doesn't really matter what the circumstances are. If you're willing to say and do things that are so vile, then you have to ask questions about that and the, the things behind it. Um, especially the way he then chose to defend that, because the whole, you're not hurting me, you're hurting the kid thing, I mean, that's absolutely nonsense. I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not really that bothered about the, the kid. Uh, the kid can do whatever the hell he wants. The fact that he chose to use that language and say those things about both the kid and the other person and the other people in the video, um, that was the thing that I was commenting on, not the fact that it was a child, because it wasn't really a child, it was a kid. Uh, but the cover-up is so pathetic. It's not. The, this kid's still on Joy's Instagram now saying, Hey everyone, it's me, I was the guy in the video, haha, <laughs> it's great. Fine, don't really care about that. Um, it's, you just can't blame everyone else for your own mistakes. So, guys, stop sharing this stuff because you're hurting the kid. No, that's your fault. If you hadn't said those things, no one would be feeling like sharing them. So don't blame them for sharing it when you're the perpetrator here. Another of the defences in the comments were that this guy had done this willingly. It was an adult stream. Um, he should have known what he was getting. I would like to point out that there is a difference between adult content and vile content. If you want to join an adult stream and they make some risque jokes or they say some things which might include swearing or off-colour things, but when you start talking about, I don't know, body shaming, misogyny, um, homophobia and all the other things that he's been accused of and has said and I have seen videos of him saying, that's the problem. It's not the fact that well, this was a safe space to share those things. Um, you shouldn't share those things. I have now seen all the video because I've been sent the entire video and yeah, that was fun watching all that. And I've also been in contact with the guy in the video and he's not fine with it. He's not perfectly happy with it. And even some of the follow-up messages afterwards. Again, there's a difference between explaining some behavior and excusing some behavior. Now I get that Joy was trying to deal with trolls. And let me be perfectly clear, trolls are bad. Trolls are not a good thing. I do not endorse or encourage anyone to troll anyone, even Joy. 
Um, I've been perfectly clear, I don't really like the guy, but I'm not going to start trolling him and I don't want anyone else to start trolling him. You shouldn't do that. It is terrible if people are trolling him to the level that he describes. If they are doing that, then they should be punished, they should be caught, we should do everything we can to stop that. The way to not stop that is to then do it back to these people. We also need to ask a few questions about what is trolling, because this this is criticism. The criticism can be easily confused and sometimes does bleed into trolling. Trolling is um, sharing memes, making fun of, um, that kind of thing. When you get to the level of involving your family and people fearing for their safety, that might still be considered trolling, but that's way at the other end of the spectrum and that deserves some action and that should be something that you report to the authorities. That's where you get the police involved and that sort of thing. And in that arena are the things like your racism, your homophobia, your really toxic and vile things, which is this kind of stuff th that Joey was throwing back at the people. Um, do not encourage this. Get away from this. There are some clips of the video which um, you can see Joey's talking to, particularly the younger guy, you can see him talking to the guy and he's saying, look, you feel terrible now because I've said all these bad things. That's how I feel when I get trolled. So I can see the thought process behind it, but the way he chose to do that and the language he used, it's just not okay. So, and that's what I'm pointing out. Um, you can't just excuse behaviour like that because you're trying to achieve that goal of uh, making a video against trolling or, or bringing to the forefront your feelings about trolling. Um, it was a mistake. I get where he was coming from there. I think it was just a mistake to do it the way he did it because he came off looking just as bad as the people that he was trying to you know, rally against. Which is really unfortunate because it is, it's a topic that it, it deserves some discussion in this platform. Trolls are bad. Trolls can make you feel like crap. Uh, but dealing with trolls in that way, it doesn't stop it, it breeds it, 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 it fosters that behaviour in others, um, it, it legitimises it if you do it. And the problem I had with this was that it was used as an excuse for the way he was behaving and acting, rather than an explanation, which is what it was. The defence after was is, yeah, I did say some bad things, I did do horrible things, but lots of bad things are happening to me. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. That's an explanation of why you've done something. It's definitely not an excuse for why you've done something. Um, if you get hit by a drunk driver and you get run over, you're, you remain run over even though that guy is drunk. That doesn't excuse it. If you go out and strangle a puppy and you say, oh, well, I was challenged to strangle the puppy, I'm sorry. It's fine because I was challenged. No, the puppy is still strangled. It doesn't matter whether or not it was a challenge. It doesn't matter whether or not you were drunk. Uh, one of the other main complaints seems to be that it's none of my business. And do you know what? You've probably got a point there. It isn't any of my business. It's also none of your business to come onto my videos and tell me I can't do that. So if you're okay with that hypocrisy, then so am I. It does make me wonder a little bit about the thought process behind some of this. So rather than rather than condemn the person that's doing the bad thing, you condemn the person that's pointing at the person doing the bad thing. Because the sort of toxic behaviour that that breeds and legitimises is just making the problem even worse rather than solving it. So as much as I don't like Joey and as much as I don't like being threatened by him in the past and some of the ways that he obviously feels about me, I don't wish him any ill will. I'm not trying to cancel him. I'm pointing out that he's trying to cancel himself and bringing bad things into my hobby. Uh, you might have noticed some of the comments going up and down here. That's all the comments from my last video. And these are all from Joey's fans, all defending him. This is my point. This is what is being bred by his behaviour. He's bringing this into my hobby. It's... At the end of the day, this is my channel. This is my content. If you want me to make other content, I do mostly make other content, but every now and again, something pisses me off, I talk about it. And really, if you don't like it, well, you can just fuck.